Hello everyone, it's Yvonne back to do your bonus read. We're going to use the Tarot of the Golden Wheel for this reading. It's funny because when I'm at my most busiest, when things just seem so hectic and so wild and woolly, it's usually the time when I start to feel like I want to do something new, I want to learn something new. And I feel like sometimes, even though now I'm working for myself and can work with my own timing, um, there's always this energy of wanting to try something new. Um, I've always been like that. I've always been a person who wanted to learn. I had such a voracious appetite for learning new things, always. Um, and it hasn't stopped. So it's not like I've learned everything. I'm still very hungry for knowledge, always. Um, and I'm the type of person, like I always say to people, I'm a Google girl. If I don't understand something, I'll Google it. Even if somebody talks about something that is so irrelevant to what I need, I don't like not being able to understand it. So I've always had this tremendous um, appetite for learning. And I've been in this for the last couple of weeks, like wanting to try new things, really wanting to get out there. I mean, I've never done anything like bungee jumping or uh, parasailing or anything like that. And they're all things that I would love to have the courage to try. And I really feel that I will get round to all those things. But there's this energy of no fear. I don't feel, I think because perhaps I was cooped up for many years of my life, um, like we all do, pleasing others, doing what others wanted, not really paying attention to myself. And I do feel that I kept myself pretty boxed in. But it's sort of like now, the more I open up, the more I want to get to, the more I want to do. So those limitations, that lack mentality, those ideas that I couldn't achieve, <laughs> I put them all in the cylindrical file. <laughs> All right, let's have a look what's going on for the bonus read. So I'm really experiencing all the movement in the universe at the moment. Oh, there it is, <laughs> the world card. How beautiful. While I was doing the what's cracking, I was like, yeah, it really should have the world card here. Sometimes I do that. We really should have the energy of the sword. We really should have the judgment card. And this morning, every time I thought a card would come, it just popped out. And the only card that didn't was the world card. So the world card is the card of completion. It's the tarot major arcana cycle closure and what it talks about is the energy of completion of all of the lessons you needed to learn in this time and the closing out of a cycle we've been trying to close out some sort of cycle for such a long time this energy has been coming through clearly for the last three four months um, and I feel like because we've had to learn those lessons or integrate I want to say the lessons so it's like I always say to people, you know, it's a really, um, this is a really good example. When I was doing university and I was doing, I think, psychology, but it may have been sociology or social science, but I remember picking up this article that we were asked to read. And what I used to do was scout over that first, then have a look at the questions or, or the theme of the question I needed to ask or, or to answer. And the, the, the article was so hard to read. It was very academic. And I must have read it probably a hundred times and it wouldn't sink in. I kept finding, so I used to do this thing where I break things down, write things on post-it notes, logical brain, you see, always logical. So I'd put all these, um, all these post-it notes out on mirrored wind, on mirrored wardrobes and, you know, break it all down and put my own thoughts and concepts and, um, and put them into some sort of order so I could understand. And I still couldn't understand it. I could not get the concept. I couldn't get the core of this article. I couldn't get what that writer was getting at. Even though I'd read it so many times, it just didn't make any sense to me. And I remember going into one of the rooms where chat rooms on uh, the university um, website and I started talking to someone and I said to them, I'm having a great deal of difficulty with this article. Have you read it? And they said, yes. And I said, can you share your understanding so I can have an understanding? And they gave me like three or four words, maybe a line, a short sentence, and it all 
dropped. The penny dropped straight away. And I wondered why I was having so much trouble trying to grasp the concept. And it could have been me trying too hard. I was always a person who overly invested in everything, trying really hard to understand things. Um, I guess that's why I've always had this sort of energy of wanting to understand why we're here and what we're doing. And now I learn to trust that. And I feel like sometimes we learn lessons and we learn the lesson or we understand the lesson we're supposed to be learning and we can mentally formulate the lesson. But sometimes it comes up later how you formulate that, how it really applies to what you're trying to understand. But you may walk around with that for a long while, not really understanding how it fits. I don't know why you do that, whether it's trying too hard to understand, whether it's just a human nature thing, but sometimes, no matter how much time you spend on something, you can see it, but you can't understand or integrate the lesson. When the world comes around, it's like full integration. It's like understanding. So we've been doing all this work, trying to close the cycle out. We probably have understood each and everything we've done. We may have understood the lesson itself, but we don't know how to apply it. When you get the world card, that's the completion. That's the understanding why you've been through what you've been through to get you to where you are. So we have the three of cups here. And the three of cups is about, it's about lots of things. It's about coming together with family and friends. It's reconciliation. It's some sort of get together that's coming on here. For me, it often arises with the whole third party thing. It's my third party card. Um, there are one too many people in this situation. I feel like here it's representing some sort of lesson that you have learned that brings you to the next stage. And I feel like here there is something, yeah, there is something that's coming together for you to help you to understand why you had to go through what you had to go through. Because something is now coming towards you that you were waiting for, but you couldn't understand why you had to wait. That's what I feel. There's this energy of waiting, but not really understanding. You know how people say, I've been stuck for ages. I didn't understand what, why I've been stuck. I've tried everything to get myself unstuck, but I feel like I'm going in circles and I don't know how to get through. It's because you haven't integrated that lesson. Something is coming towards you now that you have, this is the energy of the lack. This is the energy I've done everything I needed to do. I've worked really hard. I don't understand. I've done everything I've been asked to do, but it's still not coming. Um, listen to what you're saying. Lack mentality. Um, and a lot of people don't realize that. Oh, it's been such a long time. I've done all this. I've done all that. I've listened. I've been patient. It's still not happening. It's still not happening. So it's about observing, listening, understanding how you speak, because this is about letting go of lack mentality. The universe is about to reward you for this. There is a gift coming from someone here in terms of love. I feel really strongly that for some of you, this is representing moving into this self-love energy, finally getting to the point where you understand why you had to be on the journey to understand how to love yourself. For others of you, you have got to this point and you are about to have somebody come in to offer you that cup. That somebody is on the way. So if it was love you've been waiting for, you're about to be rewarded. All right, so we have the two of swords coming through, the five of swords. It's because you've moved away. So you've completed a karmic cycle. It's because you've made the choice to walk away from something that has been holding you back here. So these readings this week have all pointed to the same thing. There's been a lot of swords energy this week in all the readings, lots of swords, realizations, clarities, understandings. You're getting it. So don't think that your work is in vain. It is not in vain. If you reach self-love, then you've got love coming right behind that. All right, so we have the 10 of swords. Oh, that made my tummy flip. <laughs> I love that idea. All right, 10 of swords coming through completion of a cycle here well and truly completing something all righty we have the lovers card coming through with the four of pentacles and the high priestess you know both readings this morning both the what's cracking and the bonus reads all have this sort of like um dichotomy that in every two cards we have 
like flipping something over so you've got the ending here then you've got the lovers there is some sort of new beginning here the four of wills tells me that you need to let go of something the high priestess says you're stepping into your power and understanding how to let go i'm really drawn to this with this one the owl is really standing out but the key is really potent here you've just found the key to something you've just found the key to love there's some sort of love situation coming in here all right let's keep going all right so we have the strength card the fool <laughs> love it all right <laughs> with the emperor some of you are about are just about to walk into something really powerful here because the emperor is here I feel like with this strength card, there's a strange feeling of finally accomplishing something. Look at her face. She's sitting on a bear. And it's like this feeling of completion. She's tamed the bear. And she's so relaxed about it. Look at it. So calm, so pleased with herself. All right, so we have the six of wands saying there's a victory here. A leap of faith into some sort of situation two of cups coming through and we have the chariot here at the front okay the chariot has been a very dominant card over the last few months I was actually talking to somebody about this the other day too because we tend to see the repeat of a card for some reason but I feel like here, because it's heading up the reading, the chariot card always talks about having everything moving in the same direction. It's about not having opposing forces, getting your opposing forces in order. And the chariot isn't always about forward movement because it is that reminder that you're traveling in two different directions. You're not getting your horses going in the same direction. And we always see with the chariot this energy of them pulling in different directions. And that's what the chariot is all about. So even though the horses are moving forward, you can see one wants to go that way, one wants to go this way. But I feel like here that you are now moving in the same direction. So something, your darkness, your shadow, the energy of your shadow, your yin and yang is now moving in the same direction. There is a beautiful sense here of victory, of finally coming to some sort of energy of understanding because you are about to take a leap of faith. And then I have the lovers and the two of cups, which is sort of similar energies, but one is major arcana and the other one's minor arcana. But both talk about some sort of union being brought together by the universe. You have the emperor and the high priestess here. So I feel like something here you've let go of that is now bringing you in the ending of a cycle. And due to this, you're coming into union with someone here. Someone who is a soulmate, maybe twin flame with this many cards here but you are coming into union with the person you are meant to be with here. So I just want to have a look back at the mini read and then we'll pull an oracle card. There is a completion of a cycle. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. I feel like a lot of you have had trouble putting together why you've had to go on this journey or trying to understand it. Maybe for some of you, this is about a third party situation. Maybe somebody is putting down a cup because there's definitely some sort of offer coming towards you once you've let go of this idea of lack, this victim mentality. You know, somebody said to me yesterday about the victim mentality, and I think I probably should do a video on it. Because these are the victim mentality of the stories you've told yourself. That's all they are. 
So when you feel like a victim, it's because you've told yourself the same story. I'm not good enough. I'm not big enough. I'm not tall enough. I'll never have that. It will escape me. I don't deserve it. I'm not worthy of it. I'm not beautiful enough. And then you start, because you do this, you start to compare yourself with other people. And you start to compare yourself to all the things around you that are not what you are. And what needs to happen here is you need to understand how to direct that energy back inside yourself. Because this is why we end up with this lack of men this lack mentality of not having, of not being able to receive things because we feel we're not good enough. I wonder if the person you're comparing yourself to thinks any differently to you. But why would you compare yourself to someone else? It's because you think you don't deserve things. So why do you think, you know, if you're in some sort of situation here where you feel that you're not good enough or you're not enough for a person or you're not enough to have a relationship or you're not enough to be wealthy, then ask yourself, why are you thinking that? What stories have you been telling yourself here? Because the stories you've been telling yourself probably aren't your own. You've heard them from other people. And we've all been through, you know, these childhoods where we've been told what we are and what we're not. That's how we grow up with a lot of people. And, you know, some people believe that's the way you treat people. Oh, I was only being honest with them. Well, if you're being honest with someone and you're telling them that they're ugly, what is that honesty that you're sharing? People still do that. It's very manipulative. So you could very well be in this energy and learning how not to create the lack because you have something beautiful coming towards you here. And we can see quite clearly in the reading, for many of you, this is new love. So I want to say to you, it's the energy of receiving something that you deserved that you couldn't see. But you had to go through the journey first. You would never have known how to receive it before. Because if you were in that lack mentality, it wouldn't have come to you. And nobody can see it better than yourself. So observe yourself. Listen to what you say. It's the one thing I always say. Listen to what you're saying. Listen to your words. And don't think it's okay. You know, I hear people say that too. Oh, it is what it is. I am who I am. Well, that's not true either because we know you can change. There's definitely psychic to psychic scientific evidence that you can change your brain. And we know through doing the work you do, oh my goodness, the magician, the sorcerer. Huh, that is just absolutely stunning getting that card out. All right, 48. This is the source of dark power. The sorcerer represents the destructive aspect of the human psyche and the self-centered behavior that harms others. It symbolizes the unconscious beliefs and ideas that foster separation, conflict and scarcity. When the sorcerer enters your circle, you're being called to look at how your beliefs around scarcity and self-centered fear manifest in your world. Examine the destructive part of your psyche that misuses power or harbors feelings of resentment, vengeance, lust, greed, bigotry or hatred. Perhaps you've harmed someone because of those dark tendencies. If so, all is not lost. You have only forgotten that all beings are interconnected and the universe is abundant. The sorcerer arrives to challenge you to change your thinking. You're given a second chance. Correct your course and practice not blaming others for the darkness that lives inside you. Make peace with it and choose another way. Holy dooly. So there's a number of things here that have come up in that reading. And I want to just read this little bit again that says how your beliefs around scarcity and self-centered fear manifest in your world. Examine the destructive parts of your psyche that misuse power or harbor feelings of resentment, vengeance, lust, greed, bigotry or hatred. I feel like you're being definitely here asked to release that. I want to put competition down with that too. 
because a lot of us go through everybody else is getting what I want how do I get that why are they so much better than me and that is exactly the reason why because you are focusing on all of those things so you feel everybody's better than you bigger than you smarter than you then you are going to stay in that energy of lack if you feel that somebody has something that you want somewhere you want to be something you want to own then you are in the space of lack I'm going to leave you with that very powerful reading. Thank you.